Here I'm going to talk about HPS grolites, which stands for high pressure sodium. Uh, they're very um, easy to distinguish because they tend to produce this kind of yellowish orange coloration uh, to their light spectrum, at least interpreted by the human eye. These high pressure sodium lights, much like metal halides, are most common in 600 and 1000 watts. Super bulbs, as it says with metal halides, will be brighter than the standard bulb. They're most commonly used during flowering or fruiting phase, but can be used over the entire grow cycle. I've had plants go from germination and little seedlings all the way to flowering, all the way to fruiting uh, under high pressure uh, sodium lights. They can generate more light than a metal halide because of increased efficiencies that they have, but they can also increase stem stretching is a possibility to occur. You want to be careful, watch how much power you're giving the plant that can help reduce the impact of that. And again, that nice yellow kind of orangish look is very common with HPS lights. Uh, they produce that yellow orange color light, favors the 2100 to 22K, which is stands for Calvin spectrum. Again, that's just referring to the coloration. Very little of that has impacted the plant or how we perceive it. High pressure sodium bulb life is rated about 5,000 hours. Uh, but again, most growers are changing their bulbs out in a year or less. That 5,000 hours in higher quality lights will still give you about 95% efficiency. Um, so some growers will run it a little bit longer but be mindful of the yield that you're looking to get and the efficiencies can be very important. The pros to high pressure sodium lights, we see two right here, uh, just cooling down. They're very cost efficient as prices have dropped with other technologies entering the marketplace. So that's another a great option that they're becoming cheaper per fixture. Overall, the technology is very good, uh, but it's reached its peak and it may be replaced by LED lights going forward and bulbs need to be replaced uh, on at least a yearly basis and reflectors typically every other year to maybe every three at max every four years. Example of a high pressure sodium light, this is a Kavita Pro 1000 DE. This is a thousand watt double ended uh, light fixture here and ballast all inclusive. What uh, Kavita, their kind of claim to fame is they make lamps for plants. Uh, they're very much involved in the horticultural lighting. They ship everything all inclusive. They basically pull out the package and plug it in. You're good to go. Uh, these also have a dimmer on them, which is great if you're looking at maximizing the versatility of using these lights. They run cool and efficient. These ballasts are cool to the touch even when they're running. And they can be used uh, for the veg phase in production due to the broad spectrum that these lights produce. That's just one example here of the category under high pressure sodium lights, abbreviated HPS.